Recently, Gemma set us nail team ambassadors a challenge to create a set of nails inspired by 2022 spring fashion trends. We were all sent different pictures to create a design. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the pictures I was sent and what I was inspired to create. So in this set, I have used Gems acrylics. First up was Peachy Peach. Then, of course, a bit of crystal clear. I've added a touch of this beautiful shimmery silver, Elena. And then I have got the beautiful Blair. And finally, I've used a touch of May, which is beautiful soft blue. Touch of detail was added with the Perfect Nails Cream Gel in white. And of course, Tina Top is in on the action. Now I used a lot of the nail team materials in this set. I have got the Angel Mesh in this raspberry blue, the material, Angel material in silver and also in blue. I've then got this Angel Webbing in royal and also in pale blue. So let's get in and I will show you exactly what I did for this design. So first up, using Peachy Peach, I am creating a chevron smile line. I want it to be a nice, crisp, pointy V. So I'm using my first bead to really push those sides in so they're nice and straight and I get a nice point. I did go in and use my craft knife just to completely straighten it up and also went in with my nail file at the end and then second bead I cut that bit out because I was completely off camera the second bead I'm blending it into the first and then following that V shape right up to what is effectively the cuticle now bit of honesty with you guys here it has been a long time since I have done an acrylic design on display tips like this I have mainly done all my acrylic work on practice hands and I didn't realize how different it is working on a practice hand to display tips until I'd not done display tips like this for a long time and my application I'm going to be honest to begin with was a bit all over the place but I think the important lesson here is it doesn't matter if you need one bead two beads five beads, however many beads to get what you need. Don't panic, keep calm and just keep working. Everybody works at different speeds and needs a different amount of beads. I was panicking, I'm gonna be honest, but it did all come together in the end. So all was right. Uh, and it's a practice tip. If it really didn't, I could have just chucked it away and started again. Anyway, I'm just finishing off making sure I've got nice coverage, keeping those sides of that chevron nice and straight. I will file them so there is room for a bit of wonkiness. Uh, making sure I've got nice coverage right the way from the cuticle to that tip of the V. As you can see here, I've gone in with a bit more because I still thought it was patchy. It was. In the end, it didn't matter because I went on and added some painted detail on this bit. But you all know me, perfectionist. Leaving that to set on the next two tips, I am just doing a sort of a base of Peachy Peach. Um, so it's faded down to the tip. It didn't need to be full coverage right down there. Uh, just started from the cuticle, fading it down. This is effectively almost like we're wearing a sheer dress and this is my skin tone showing through. This was the idea I had. Um, if, I don't know if you will agree that's how it worked out, but that was what I was thinking. This was my skin tone, legs, arms, whatever, showing through a sheer dress. Uh, so just adding a little bit more because I felt it was a bit too, um, it, was, it was not quite enough coverage there uh, and then I did exactly the same on another tip um, as you can see really faffing I don't know why I was just trying to make it all 
perfect. Um, and there are a lot of layers going on top of this, so I did want to work relatively thin. So here was that first inspiration picture and the second one. And as you can see, that sheer lacy finish is what I was having in mind. And you also saw, hopefully, that uh, chevron. Now, next nail, I'm just going to do a band of that beautiful Elena acrylic just at the top of the nail. Just a very small band, and I'm doing this on two nails. So just placing it down, it doesn't need to be thick, it doesn't need to be, I don't need to have that wall to butt the next colour up to like a colour block. Uh, this is just my base. Uh, I want to keep it as straight as possible, but it didn't need to be perfect. And this was inspired by that band across the middle of this beautiful dress. Uh, so just faffing around a little bit, making sure it's nice and neat. But then I am going to go on top with one of those materials. So that's the acrylic down. Now, wash of clear acrylic. This is how I am going to apply my, my material on top. I have cut a strip of that silver angel mesh, a little bit of plastic so I can really press down without touching the uh, uncured product and then we're just going to hold it in place till it is fully stuck down. So use my body heat from the fingers and then when it was stuck I've trimmed around the edge so it is the same shape as the nail and now I'm encapsulating and here I want to make sure I build that wall um, so that I have got something to work up to uh, and I can file it nice and straight. Back to my chevron smile line I have filed that and now I'm going to go in with the first layer so again wash of clear acrylic cut my piece of material and then again I'm just going to hold this in place using the plastic until it is fully stuck down I do apologize if I go out of shot a few times it's much harder staying in shot with practice tips than it is with a practice hand <laughs> it really is so I apologize so that first layer of material is nicely stuck down and I'm going to repeat the process going down the other side with one of the other materials. And this is where I'm going to hopefully start getting those layers of different laces and netting. Uh, so just holding that down, trying really hard to keep in view. Uh, again, I apologise just using my body heat to really really stick it down uh, and then I'm just going to leave that to set take away the uh, bit of plastic when I'm done and now I'm going on top with the next layer and this is going to be one of those beautiful netting um yeah, netting. Uh, so exactly the same. Wash of clear acrylic, very thin wash because we're building up layers so we don't want lots of bulk. Using that bit of plastic to really hold and stick it down. And then on the other side, exactly the same thing, but I'm going to use the pale blue um, netting. So we've got lots of different layers of the material coming through. So really going to hold that down, stick, press, use my body heat so it's all nicely stuck down. Um, and then, hopefully, we will see the nail when all of these materials are fully stuck down. Um, it can take a little bit longer to cure on a, na on a practice tip. So there it is with all that material stuck down and then that is the inspiration I got. So you can see we've got the different layers on that dress with netting and lace and all sorts. Uh, I've put that to one side to just let it really cure. And now I'm just going to add my first layer of mesh on this nail. So I've used the blue angel mesh or I can't remember which one it is. So exactly the same process, just really holding that down, pinching it underneath the nail so it is stuck in, in place. And then 
another wash and we're going to go in with some of that beautiful netting. Um, I've used both colours. I try to be really clever here and stick them both down at the same time. Yeah, yeah don't do that. It didn't work. No, no. Uh, so one at a time. Definitely recommend one at a time. So first one down, wash. This wash will help doubly secure that first layer of netting. Second one down, hold it in place and then leave it to properly cure. Uh, we want that acrylic to be nice and set before I trim the material to the size of the nail. So this is where I'm thinking with this. I was inspired by the sort of the lacy ruffles with the blue dress, uh, but also that silver belt with the yellow dress. So, And I showed you one after I'd cut the material. On to the two nails where I did a full sort of peachy peach. Starting off with some of this angel material, I've just cut it and I'm doing it on a bit of a slanty jaunty angle because I want to follow that chevron smile line that I did. So I'm going to do one nail going one way and one nail going the other way. So it sort of almost continues that chevron almost. Um, once I was happy and that first layer of material was stuck down, I'm just going to keep doing the same as I've done on the others and keep layering the different materials. And I'm trying to get that look of the ruffles in that blue dress where they were sort of layered and different colours. And also we've got the mesh and the netting um, and giving it a bit of cover there and that was my thinking and I chose the blue um, because I love blue so I am going to continue just wash of acrylic and sticking down this material on this nail and also on the other nail I'm going to shut up and just let you watch for now <laughs> So the material is all applied and hopefully you can sort of get an idea of what I was thinking with those ruffles and the layers. And I also added a little bit of that silver where that sort of band around the middle was. Now all the material is in place, the design is done. I need to encapsulate these nails in clear acrylic, make sure everything is fully covered and I've got the structure. Give them a good file and now I'm ready to add the finishing touches. So I've added some blue pearls and AB crystals around that smile line and I've just added a few on the other nails just to follow the line where you can see we've got the belt but then we've got some crystals coming down in a bit of sort of swoopy lines down those skirts over top of the lace finishes. Back to my smile line. And on that blue dress where I took the inspiration, on sort of the top part where it is the lace, it does have sort of viney, leafy patterns sort of covering what is almost like, you, it's like your breast, chest area. And because I wasn't happy with the smile line um, in the end, I thought I'm going to add that. So I'm using the Crystal Nails Zero Short Brush and the Perfect Nails White cream gel. I did my first vine coming right from the point 
just up the middle and then I'm just adding a couple more either side and I'm just pulling the brush through the leaf shape just to give them that point. Um, I'm then going to add a couple more sort of up the sides. Now you could flash cure the first one or fully cure if you're worried you might smudge it. I thought oh, I can do it so I did too but then I did I did do a little flash cure before I added a third so just adding in those leaves you know they don't have to be perfect they're leaves they're nature they've got their own shape and look uh, and as you can see just pulling through so they've got a little bit of a point once I was happy give them a good cure and here you can see where I got the idea those vines just on that mesh finish now Moving on to uh, the nail here with the uh, silver, what was like the silver belt, I am going to add some 3D flowers. Uh, so I have double dipped uh, in, the, in May and in Blair. So I've got darker in the middle and then lighter around the edge of the petals. And I'm just going to do sort of some three, four, petaled flowers so just let that bead settle before you start to shape it if it's too wet it'll just put everywhere if it's too dry it'll cure before you have a chance to do anything now 3d work is not something I do loads of and if I do do it I don't tend to do it on camera because you're moving around all the time and basically struggling to keep in view um, but had to be done so I did this on both of those nails. I just did a few leaves, some petals. Um, just this was adding another layer to my design. And um, hopefully I will show you where that inspiration was from. But one of those dresses did have some sort of petals on top. Um, so that is that was my thinking. So I'm just going to continue doing these, just patting it down, getting the shape. Uh, again, flowers, they don't have to be spot on perfect. And then once that first flower was done, I'm going to go in and add another one. Uh, I've not kept doing all of these flowers and petals in the video because oh, that would have taken forever and it's just doing the same thing over and over again <laughs> um, so here you can see where I'm trying to give it that sort of that fan shape um, pulling it it's easier for you to just look at what I'm doing as opposed to me trying to explain it because I'll just end up talking a load of gibberish so just why I continue adding some more petals to create my flowers, um, just going to apologise for not being around. Unfortunately, I did have another seizure a couple of weeks ago. So I've been recovering from that, waiting to hear from doctor and neurologist and things. Um, so, you know, yeah, unfortunately, that's sort of two in two to three months having not had one for nearly three years. So a little bit of a worry, knocked me for six, but I'm back. Uh, and I thought, come back and share this video with you. So nearly finished all of those flowers and petals. As I said, I did it on both of the nails right the way down to the tip. And here you can see where my idea was for these flowers. I then added some more of those pearls in the centre and just a few more of those AB crystals following that same sort of flowy line. So it ties it all together. Finished off with Tina Top and these are done. So it's a little bit of a different video, but I really do hope you have enjoyed it. I would love to know what you think of this design uh, and how you think I did with those inspiration pictures. Um, if you are new to this channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. I will be back again very soon, but um, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching and um, take care. Bye. Mwah.